We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. All right, so zero to three months. This is what we got in preparation. These are just ridiculously tiny. Look at these little socks. I got three little pairs of socks. Um, three little pairs of leg warmers because um, when you're doing elimination communication, you don't really apparently want to be having the child in like lots of little trousers because it just makes it harder to um, get them to eliminate um, easily. Trousers or pants, everybody. <laughs> so often what people do with elimination communication babies is they'll have some kind of top on or gown or something and then they might put leg warmers on. So you're kind of missing out the area in between so it's easy for them to eliminate. Um, little hat. <laughs> and then I got three little t-shirts. All of the clothing is organic or bamboo or hemp or something, you know. Um, Bloom, radiate, and a plain one. You'll notice that almost all of the clothing that we have is green <laughs> because. Well, it's gonna have my green eyes. Yes. And it's my favorite color, and it felt like a good neutral color because we don't know yet whether the Shim Shim is a boy or a girl. Um, this, I think this is my favorite item that I ordered just because it's just so ridiculously sweet. <laughs> when this thing arrived, I absolutely freaked out at the fact that there's probably going to be someone here in a few weeks who actually fits into this thing. Um, I think this is one of the only things I got that has like trouser part to it. I just got it because it was so ridiculously sweet. I just really wanted to have one. Um, and then the rest of these are all gowns. So again, apparently with elimination communication babies, this is really convenient to have these kind of things because um, they're, f they're not like confined with their legs. So we have all these little gowns, pretty things on them. So that's the zero to three months. I think there's like six gowns, three t-shirts, three pairs of leg warmers and three pairs of socks. So we'll see how we do <laughs> in terms of whether we have enough stuff. Um, three to six months. There's another gown. And oh, here we actually have a dress. We'll see if the dress becomes appropriate or not. A little um, long sleeve t-shirt. Here's a little short sleeve t-shirt and more little socks. Three little more pairs of socks. I tried to get um, all kinds of t-shirts and things like this that um, like have snappers and things like that so that they're easy to get over the baby's head and to get onto them so that it's not so complicated and distressing for them to have clothing. That was something someone suggested to me. Um, Alright, six to nine months, I actually started to get some little trousers for this age. So there's, I think, th two or three little pairs of trousers, six to nine months. Um, Another little hat. Three more of these little uh, t-shirts, short sleeve t-shirts. Four long sleeve t-shirts. And a couple of little onesies. So I guess by that age, six to nine months, um, Children who are being raised with elimination communication tend to be like a bit more competent by then with um, communicating about eliminating. So um, it seemed more appropriate to start getting onesies.
for that age rather than gowns. And then the last load of clothing here, 9 to 12 months, bigger hat, and a couple of really beautiful gowns. I just love these ones so much. They're from a company called Organics by Tadpoles. Um, and then a load more onesies. There's like, I think like nine of these or something with all these different sweet things on them, like homegrown, natural beauty, 100% organic, all of those kind of things. So that's what we have for clothing. Um, we'll see how it goes. Now the other part of the clothing equation is the the cloth diapering things here. So, um, as we said before, we don't really intend to cloth diaper. This is just kind of like backup stuff. So we don't have a mass of things for this, but we do have some stuff. And man, when I started trying to learn about how to um, do cloth diapering, cloth nappies, I just, there was so much to try to understand, um, but this is the conclusion that I came to. I got two little hemp, um, I think these are called like all-in-ones or something. I don't know, you can let us know in the comments if that's not right. But it's like, potentially you could just use this as it is. It has like everything kind of already in there and um, you can just put that on the baby. And then I got two little ones and three big ones of those. I also got a mass of these pre-fold things, which I didn't know like what these were or what to do with them. But a friend came over recently and was telling me, um, so you can just use these as they are. And um, uh, I need another lesson again on how to use them. But you can just use these, and then there's like these kind of bungee things that you. Um, hook into it and that that can just be the whole kind of diaper nappy just this or you can put these plastic covers on top of them if you're like maybe going out somewhere and like if this got wet and was kind of leaking everywhere it wouldn't be so pleasant so we got a few plastic covers there's maybe like seven or eight of these different plastic covers to go over things um and some other kind of pre-folds here. And then there's all these things that just came in like this pack of stuff that I bought. I don't even know what they are. But it's some kind of bio soft liner it says. I guess it's like a little liner that you can put inside the nappy. Um, so And you can just like throw it away if they poo or something. And you, you can just kind of pull this thing out and throw it away. I don't know. And then there's fleece liners, and this nappy bag thing, like a big waterproof nappy bag. I guess these things are gonna come in useful. Just like the 8010 tenors say, you only need fruits and vegetables. You just need a boob and a body. <laughs> um, what else? So then we have these mattress covers, which we showed you a bit earlier. I think there's like six of these, um, just little kind of changing pad things, plastic backed and organic cotton topped, so that the baby can lay on this in bed with us in case um, if they uh, have an accident that it doesn't go all through the bed. And I got a mass of these different kinds of cloths um, from di all different companies, all like organic or hemp. Um, you can, you know, use them for burp cloths or whatever. And I think I got like 10 pairs or something of these organic breast pads for leaking. Um, yeah, from different companies again. And then we showed you the three different little toys that we got. A couple of wooden ones and then natural rubber Sophie giraffe, which was the one I was wincing at in the background. Um, and the little potty for starting elimination communication, the breastfeeding pillow, three different types of carriers, a pouch, a wrap, 
and backpack carrier, and then the baby Bjorn little chair for the baby um, to have a bit of support if for some reason there's nobody around to hold the baby. So that's everything here. There are a few other little things that I got. Um, I got a rocking chair, but that's not here yet. It's still in the US. Actually, it's a gliding chair. Somebody guided me to get a, a chair that glides because it's smoother rather than a rocking chair. Um, I got a stethoscope, which I never anticipated getting, um, just to listen to the, the sounds. Um, I got a thermometer, baby thermometer. I got baby um, nail clippers because somebody was saying that their nails grow super fast um, when they're really young and they can scratch themselves a lot with them. So I got some baby nail clippers. I got um, nipple creams for if there's any issues with breastfeeding. Um, I got some calendula kind of baby creams for um, nappy rash if that happens. But again, we don't really intend to use the cloth diapering stuff other than like in certain situations we want to do elimination communication and that tends to mean that babies don't have issues with nappy rash. Um, I think that's about it. That's about all we got. I got a lot of herbs for myself to help myself through both the pregnancy and postpartum. And I've been reading a lot of books. Um, maybe one day we'll do a, a video on the books and DVDs and resources that have helped us out. For now, we just wanted to show you what we bought in preparation while it's all still totally clean and pristine. Oh, I didn't show you the... You just need fruits and vegetables. <laughs> the receiving blankets. I got some of these beautiful, soft, kind of organic flannel, cotton receiving blankets. Little blankets to wrap them up in. There's probably, I don't know, like a dozen here. Plus, I got muslin blankets. Um, I got six of these. Because when my sister had her first baby, and I went to see her in Britain, she was telling me that these were like her saviour. <laughs> she said she just couldn't live without these kind of blankets, that she used them for everything, and she could never have enough. So I thought, okay, I'll get a load of them. And yeah, that's what we have. So we'll see how we get on. and. Maybe if you're watching this and you have any comments or suggestions for other things that might be useful for first time parents who want to do this kind of attachment parenting, um, eco-friendly lifestyle, breastfeeding, co-sleeping, elimination communication, continuum concept, all of that kind of stuff. If you have any suggestions for stuff that we didn't get in preparation, then maybe leave your comments down below. Angela's been excited for like a million days to put all the stuff in here. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna create Good. the baby's own cupboard. And who do we got there? Angela Stokes, Monarch, and the Shoe Show. And Matt Monarch, just waiting. And maybe we could talk about how we're doing an unassisted birth in the next episode. Ah! Oh no! Ah! Maybe that's why we didn't tell you! Thanks for joining us, we'll see you again at the Raw Food World. The finished cupboard. We have the clothing here, the kind of nappies and blankets and stuff up there, and the bigger things down there. I forgot to mention that this big carrier, for when they're older, we got one from Boba Organics. I realise people probably be asking which one we got. Boba Organics.